a really funny guy And this is his podcast, In The Ride It's the In The Ride Podcast Kurt Fletcher Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in It's episode 69 69 <laughs> 69, doing it solo Doing episode 69 It's a solo podcast uh, Didn't plan it that way should never do 69 solo. Um, it's probably not that great. But uh, this is episode 69. Uh, I have not recorded in a while. Um, I had a pretty busy May. Uh, ended up getting sick the first week of May, and I had to miss the uh, Chief Festival in Trinidad. And then uh, had a bunch of gigs. And then I went to Denver for a week. I did some uh, dog sitting for my buddy Don Morgan. <clears throat> Had a good time in Denver. Uh, didn't do any shows, um, but uh, got to hang out with some friends and uh, started writing a new screenplay. Uh, so that's fun. So a lot of my time was spent uh, hanging with friends and writing and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's been a little over a month, I think, since I did my last recording with Ron Ferguson. Um, yeah, it's funny, we're, me, and, me and Ron were talking about uh, Stephen Wright, and uh, we're both huge Stephen Wright fans. And then like a day or so after the podcast, uh, Ron was in New York City, and he got to meet Stephen Wright and see him perform. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um I've noticed that Steven's been doing a lot of podcasts and stuff like that lately. And uh, so I've been watching a lot of those. It's been cool. Instead of recording my own, I just watch other people's sometimes. Um, and he's got a new book out that I'm going to check out. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I've been doing quite a few shows lately also. Um a lot of local stuff, and then I was just in Tulsa. Just got back from Tulsa the other day. I'll recap uh, my Tulsa visit here in a bit. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, May was a good month, though. I uh, I started posting on I started posting on YouTube Shorts, which I'd never really done before, and. Uh, so I, I decided to do a thing where I was just posting a one-liner a day in May. And uh, ended up getting about 25,000 views, 28,000, 20, something like that. Um, got some new subscribers out of it. I, I was doing it to promote my one-liner album that I was going to have out at the end of May. And then when I finished editing it, I didn't like how it sounded. Um, like, just the audio wasn't very sharp. And... I don't know. I didn't feel good about putting it out, even though it was like a combination of four or five different shows that were really good and had some had some fun crowds and stuff. But I just didn't like the audio, and I wasn't sure if people would hear it that well. So I'm going to re-record that. Um, I don't know when yet, and. Hopefully soon. Um, I gotta figure out how to use my Zoom recorder better. I've, I've used it a few times for podcasts and things like that, but um, I just need to get better at recording audio and stuff for shows. My camcorder does a good job of recording audio, but it's not like album quality audio. Um, so I'm definitely gonna re record and just have one show instead of piecing together four or five different shows. Um, maybe I'll do it this Saturday at Turtle Mountain. We got a show at Turtle Mountain Saturday. Maybe I'll just do 30 minutes of one liners. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was, uh, that's why I had some fun shows in May too. Locally, I did a headline set at Dry Heat Comedy Club downtown. It went really well. 
Um, did a headline set it inside out, which went okay. <laughs> and then uh, did a set at the Brew Lab in Rio Rancho, which was pretty fun. Um, I like I like the. They're all different shows too. Like at Brew Lab, you, you have to work a little cleaner since there's sometimes there's kids at the show. Like my nephew Phoenix was at that show. Um, it was his first comedy show he ever got to see. Uh, so that was cool. Made sure to do a joke about him to make make sure I embarrassed him, and uh, I succeeded. So that was good. Um, yeah, it's always it's always a fun show. It's a it's a good challenge to. Uh, work on clean material as well because I've been trying to put together like a solid 30 minute clean set, you know, uh, so I can try working on some cruise ships maybe. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I, I usually, when I'm working at a club, I'll try to do the Saturday early show as a clean set. I'll talk about that a little bit more uh, when I talk about Tulsa. Um, yeah, the screenplay I started working on is with my friend Dennis, who used to do stand-up. I've known Dennis since probably 2002, I think, maybe earlier. Um, I met, Yeah, I met him when I was first kind of getting started doing stand-up. We were working at Papa John's together. And he was always a really funny dude and a really solid musician, too. Um, but he actually did some stand-up. Um, it was 2009 or 10 when we we're both living in Denver together at the time. Not living together, but we both lived in Denver at the time. Um, but uh, he put together a set. Yeah, he had a pretty solid 15 minutes <laughs> like right away, and I was able to get him a hosting spot at uh, Wits End. And then uh, took him took him with me on a couple out of town gigs. We did uh, Hill City, South Dakota. And uh, we did a gig in Arizona and then some down here in Albuquerque. Um, and then when I moved back to Albuquerque, he just stopped doing it. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like if he really tried to do stand up, he'd be pretty successful. But I don't know if he just had, I don't know if he has the desire to do it anymore. Um, but we did start working on a screenplay recently, and uh, that's been fun. It's kind of a tough process, though, and you can't physically get together and write. Um, but we've been able to work together a little bit on the Google Documents or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it kind of helps. Um, but it's a lot easier when you're working on that sort of thing in person. Um, yeah, that's a fun project to uh, start working on. Um, writing screenplays is a very tough process. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty dumb to say. It's pretty, uh, I think people people know that. Like me and my buddy Mark read a screenplay, and it took took a long time to finish. And uh, but it's pretty goddamn funny. And we uh, did pretty well in some contests, so that was cool. Um, yeah, I just I basically wanted to talk about my Tulsa trip though. On this episode, uh, I do have a lot of cool guests that are coming up in the month of June and July and stuff. Um, which I'm super excited about. Just got to make sure our schedules line up and everything. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to post these on Wednesdays or Monday. I started doing them Mondays, but it's kind of tough to do that. I feel like editing is easier earlier in the week. Um, since I have shows on weekends, usually it's kind of hard to get any editing done. Anyway, I we can talk about Tulsa. I had a really good time in Tulsa. Um, you know, I lived I lived in Tulsa for a few years, and uh, it's always cool going back there. Um, I do miss it a lot. It's a really cool little town. Um, 
I, I was excited. I got there a day early. And I was so excited because I was going to order my favorite pizza, uh, Andalini's. They have my favorite pizza. It's called the macaroni. Well, they don't anymore, which bummed me out. Uh, it's called the macaroni pizza, but I went to order it on Tuesday night, and they no longer have it. It's not on their menu. And uh, after I got done crying, I ordered some other pizza from somewhere else that wasn't very good. It was good, but not even close to as good as Andalini's macaroni pizza. So, yeah, that was a bummer. So Tulsa trip started off rough. Um, so uh, so the shows were Wednesday through Saturday. We had six shows. Wednesday they always do the open mic, which is really cool. Um, so I got to see a couple comics that I've known for a long time. Um, Shauna Blake was there. It was really funny. She was telling me she's going to do her first feature spots at the Looney Bin in September, which is super cool. Um, super hard to get bumped up to feature in your home club. So um, hopefully it goes well for her. She's really funny. I uh, also got to see my buddy Nicolo, who, was, who used to sell me weed when I lived in Tulsa. Um, <laughs> uh, he's really funny. He's a funny little dude. He's in a band and stuff great dude um he had a funny set it was cool seeing him again uh the show wednesday was pretty good it was uh it's kind of a small crowd you know and uh we we got to do less time so i did 20 minutes and uh i've been trying to work out uh jokes for my next album and I'm trying to like figure out where I want to piece those together. Uh, so that's kind of what I worked on Wednesday night. Um, I probably, I feel like I did five jokes from my old album, but um, but it was good to have a good set with, you know, the new stuff. I'm trying to figure out where to where to place it all and everything. Plus, I still need to write probably. I don't know. I'd say another solid 10 minutes at least to get a good recording by the end of the year. Um, so yeah, Wednesday was fun. Uh, the open mic, they had a few, a few comics I'd never seen before. A couple of them were pretty new. You could tell, uh, they didn't move the mic stand out of the way. I don't know why that bugs the shit out of me, but it does. <laughs> That should be like one of the first things they teach you. Just move the mic stand out of the way, it's, you know. Or if you're gonna use the mic in the stand, just leave it alone. But I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe I should tell them that. But I don't. I always feel like I'm a dick when I say shit like that. Um. All right. Thursday night was was okay too. It was kind of a small crowd also. Um. But, but they were fun. It was uh, uh, another local comic, Nicole Miller, came and did a guest set. And her sister, they were having her bachelorette party. And uh, usually when there's a bachelorette party at the comedy show, it's not good. But they were well-behaved and a fun little crowd. Um, Nicole did great. Um, she's recording a special soon. That's cool. Um so yeah, Thursday was okay. Friday was pretty fun. Um, the uh, or the first show was really good. The second show, Friday late show. Um, there were big laughers when the MC was on stage. Her name is Christy Hayden from Dallas. Super super funny. Um, they, I don't know. They were like just light laughers. It seemed like. Um, with her, I, I feel like they didn't know how to take her because she's, she's very funny and she's very awkward, which makes her even funnier in my opinion. Uh, the awkwardness is awesome. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I did some like dirtier stuff and things like that to kick off my set. They responded pretty well to that. And then I don't know, just overall, it was kind of a weird show. Um, 
Like, I didn't hate it. I actually had fun with them. Um, I like the, the later shows are fun to kind of mess around and do some dirtier stuff and some stuff you normally wouldn't do. Um, so that's why I did that show. Just kind of do some of my edgier stuff at that one. Um, and then Saturday, Saturday shows are really good. I, I was talking about doing a, a clean set. So I did Saturday early show, which is typically like a younger or an older crowd. Um, so that's when I, that's why I like to do my cleaner stuff. Um, so I did a 30 minutes, totally clean, uh, did pretty well too. I would say and that was probably, I don't know, that or the late show Saturday were the best. I'll, I'd have to go back and look at the the video to decide, but um, it went really well. Um, I was able to pull off 30 minutes, no problem. Um, well, I had to tell the crowd to shut up a couple times, but uh, I think they were just talking about how funny I was, probably. Like, man, this guy's so funny, and he hasn't swore yet. That's great. Um, they almost made me swear, though. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it feels good to know that I can do that, do 30 minutes of clean material. Um, so I was kind of stressing about it all day. You know, I was, I was really working hard to piece everything together. And, like, I, I know I've got the material. It's just the memorizing it, memorizing it in a certain order, you know where it flows pretty good. And uh, I feel like I was able to do that pretty well. Um, so I felt good about that. And then, yeah, Saturday late show was kind of kind of like Friday where I did some edgier stuff. And so it's nice to do, especially after doing like a completely clean set, uh, just going up there and just not, not giving a shit, you know? Um, and uh, they were pretty receptive to it, so that was cool. Um, got to see, uh, got to work with Tony Tone again from Memphis. I worked with him in Oklahoma City a few years back, right, like 2017. Uh, super nice dude, very funny. Had a great time with him. Uh, he ended up sticking around a day later, we both did, and uh, went and saw the Transformers movie. And that was pretty good. Um, God, I haven't seen a Transformers movie since, like, the second one. But we went over to the, uh, there's this uh, big family fun center type place by the comedy club called Synergy. It's been there for a while, but I've never been inside. And uh, they've got a, like a bowling alley, a movie theater, some axe throwing, a bunch of video games and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, we went on a Sunday and it's kind of dead over there, Sunday afternoon. Um yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. Uh, yeah, Tulsa Looney Bin's always fun. Um, I was happy with all the uh, how the shows turned out. I tried a lot of a lot of new stuff uh, that worked pretty well. Um, so overall, I feel really good about the shows. Um, sometimes I'll leave Tulsa and not feel great about all of them, but I feel like all of them went pretty well. Um, Staff there is awesome. A lot of uh, a lot of my old friends still working there, which is cool. Um, Allie's the GM still. She's been at the Looney Bin for probably 15 years. Met the new owners. They've got a couple new owners. Uh, talked to them. Uh, they seem super cool, and they're going to make some cool changes to the place, um, which sounds awesome. Um, the new door guy was cool. <laughs> Uh, he's a great dude. He brought his uh, his mom and his stepdad to the show Saturday. They were really cool. Um, yeah, my uh, a buddy of mine from my hometown. He's a, well, he's not from my hometown. His dad is from my hometown. His dad was like a probably one of the more popular teachers at our school. He was. He was the art teacher, and he's like 
They're probably the only teacher that I know that went by his first name. Like nobody called him Mr. Britton. They always called him Jack. Like everybody called him Jack. But his son lives in Tulsa now. And I got to meet him when I think he was in seventh grade or something like that. My my buddy Justin, that was on episode 66 or 67, uh, was his coach in his on a seventh grade baseball team. And uh, he was, uh, he didn't want to play baseball, but his dad made him sign up so he can make some friends and stuff like that. He was tiny. <laughs> That's funny to watch him play baseball. He was so small. But, uh, but yeah, he lives in Tulsa now. So I got a, he came to the show Thursday with his wife, Anne. And then uh, we got uh, lunch together on Friday. Tried this new barbecue joint. It was called, uh, I think it was called Flo's. Flo's Smokehouse, I think it was. But it was their, I think it was their first day they were open. And uh, it was really good. Had some brisket, some homemade mac and cheese. It was great. Um, really good food. And then we went downtown and had some ice cream. And then he was kind of showing me some buildings I'd never been in before. And, uh, I don't know, some of them had like some really cool architecture and stuff like that. That was pretty neat. But Tulsa's got a really cool downtown area. And, um, I wish I'd spent more time down. I used to live like right by there when I lived there, but I didn't spend a lot of time downtown. Um, I think like the most time I spent downtown was when I did the Blue Whale Comedy Festival. Um, but uh, never hung out there too much. Um, that's a cool area. I like it. Um, yeah, it's fun to hang out with Lane. Um, he always comes down to the shows. He's been living in Tulsa, I think, since 2018-ish or so. And uh, yeah, he always comes and checks out at least one show um yeah so overall Tulsa was fun um getting home kind of sucked got delayed at the airport um kind of sucked and uh I don't know for some reason both flights I had some kid kicking my seat I was trying to sleep little bastards one of them dropped his toy and it landed in front of me so I kicked it further away Fuck him. Uh, yeah, so I got home a little bit late on Monday nights. And uh, Tuesday I was just exhausted. Had to run some errands and stuff like that. But I was dead after that. So I wanna record a, wanted to record a podcast yesterday, but I was just too tired. Need to edit some clips from uh, my shows so I can add them onto the podcast here. I'll add some uh, some video and maybe a little crowd work stuff. I think I had some crowd work stuff that would be kind of funny to add on here. Um, so I'll put this out when I get that done. Um, not really a lot more to talk about. I do have a lot of shows coming up. They've been scrolling there at the bottom there with my social media stuff. Make sure you follow me on all my things. Uh, you can sign up for my newsletter if you go to my website, funnyfletcher.com. It should pop up want to sign up for my newsletter i send out like a monthly newsletter it's kind of updates my shows and stuff like that but uh i have this friday i'm doing a set at revel uh they're having a roast battle and then they usually have a stand-up comic perform as well or maybe two i don't know i haven't been there in a while but so i'm doing a set friday at revel um saturday i'm doing a set at turtle mountain in rio rancho it's one of my favorite venues. Uh, it's always a free show. Uh, if you do go to that one, get there kind of early. That room fills up pretty quick. Um, yeah, all my shows are scrolling at the bottom. That's where I got to look. Okay, 16. Okay. Oh, yeah, the 24th. Um, I'm at the uh, American Legion in Rio Rancho. Okay, good one. And then, uh, what else? oh, yeah, June 29th at Boxing Bear in Albuquerque. I think that used to be Elliot's. So it'll be cool performing there. I used to do a lot of shows at Elliot's back in the day. 
Uh, July 7th will be headlining at Carino's in Alamogordo. Um, July 20th, Mescalero headlining the end of the Mountain Gods. Uh, July 22nd, Santa Fe, Tumble Root Brewery. July 28, 29, Laughs in Tucson. September 22nd, 23rd, Stir Crazy in Glendale. Uh, all those are also listed on my website, funnyfletcher.com. And they all have links to tickets if uh, if tickets are available yet. So come see a show. Come see the new stuff I'm working on. Hopefully I'll get that one-liner album done by the end of summertime. I was really hoping to have it done by the end of May. But shit happens, all right? All right, that's it for uh, episode 69. Thanks to uh, Jarrett Reddick for intro music. Uh, also, Bowling for Soup has a new North American tour. Uh, it's coming up. I'm going to try and go see him in Denver since they're not coming here again. And uh, thanks to John Singleton from Anesthesia for the outro music. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. They're going cashless at the strip club, which is weird. I got a lap dance, and the lady had a QR code tattoo. <laughs> it's got a bunch of like one dollar Venmo transactions. <laughs> it's hard to make it rain. <laughs>